What's up guys? So today we are doing 10 poses for Instagram or how to pose in photos as some of you probably like to do. I love to take Instagram photos but in the beginning I was super super awkward and honestly I'm still pretty awkward but there are a few poses that I kind of recycle and reuse and I wanted to just share them with you and give you my tips and tricks on how to pose for Instagram photos. So number one, the most accessible, most convenient, public and free prop that you can probably pose with is a pair of stairs. A pair of stairs, is that right? No, just a set of stairs. And stairs are just cool because they make the outfit look super casual and candid, but we all know that some girl wanted to pose on stairs. So you can do a bunch of different variations with posing with stairs. And one of my favorites is just putting your legs apart, kind of hunching over and slouching with your arms on your elbow. And this is just kind of a cool girl laid back type of pose. And then another variation of one of these is by putting your back back and then lengthening one of your legs and this is a pose that I do a lot on my Instagram especially when I'm wearing pants or something masculine because I don't really want to be wearing or I don't really want to be doing this pose when I'm wearing a skirt I mean to each their own but personally that's not my preference and of course there is a classic laying on the stairs uh, pose it's just when you have your legs just straight out and your elbows on so stairs are just a super easy way to pose and if you see them go take a picture with them number two sun kiss clothes eyes is based off a little tip that I learned for when you're taking photos in direct sunlight so when you're often posing in direct sunlight your eyes get squinty and it's really hard to look fierce in the camera so something that I learned to do is you close your eyes lift your head up towards the Sun and do that for 10 seconds and then when you open your eyes your eyes will not be squinty and you'll be very adjusted to the sunlight so I kind of took that tip and I made that into a pose I think that this pose is a little bit more artsy and poetic and typically when I like to do this pose I keep one of my hands on my neck and this is a great pose if you want to showcase some jewelry or earrings or anything like that number three is power stands which is pretty much a blogger favorite it's just honestly standing there being very powerful and being very confident so what I typically like to envision is a string that goes from the top of my head all the way to the sky and it's just lengthening my whole body so that means my back is straight my shoulders are upright and my chest is kind of protruding more out than in and you just keep your legs at a wide stance and you just look really powerful a lot of this pose has to do with confidence and just faking it till you make it and I like this one because it's super simple all you have to do is stand but you look very powerful so I called it the power stance number four I didn't know what to call it so I just named her upset Nancy and this is a pose that I see a lot with editorial magazines or just with models a lot and I actually had to do this pose for my local wolves cover shoot and basically if you have a box or an elevated piece of ground or a pole or anything where you can put your foot on all you have to do is put your leg up and then put your arm or your elbow on your knee and you just kind of hold your face in your fist and you look kind of upset I don't know how but I've seen other models do this and it looks amazing on them and the photo that we took actually came out pretty good so I called her upset Nancy because I don't know why but Nancy's so upset so uh, if you have an elevated piece of ground I'll definitely try this one out. Number five is arms up and this is one that I think the photographer needs to be all the way at the ground kind of looking up at you otherwise it doesn't look as artsy or as editorial um, but this one you just kind of want to put your hands up and you want them to be a little bit soft and kind of free flowing. I've done this a couple times and you can take I think the key to this photo is that the photographer definitely needs to be below you looking up at you and you have to be looking into the camera down into the camera otherwise it kind of just looks like you're waving your hands in the air which is fine too <laughs> number six is super easy for my Asian ladies out there or Asian guys out there and this is just the Asian squat or I will name it the crouch and all you have to do is just squat on the floor this is not a pose that you want to do if you're wearing a super flamboyant top or anything that's on your chest area I guess but if you have a coat or some cool pants that are the focal piece of the outfit uh, this pose will work and I like this pose because it's super comfortable for me to just squat and it just looks very kind of street style and in the moment um, as if 
they're just randomly taking a photo of you while you're crouching. Uh, but this is super easy and if your legs hurt from walk-in, this will definitely be a savior. Number seven is called side stance pondering. Now this is kind of just a variation of the power stance, except you're turning a little bit to the side and I typically like to do this pose if I have something cool that's on the side of my outfit. So for example, I wore this leather lace-up skirt and I really wanted to showcase the lace-up part of it. So I just turn to the side and sometimes I really don't know what to do with my arms so I often resort to this. It's kind of just like, hmm, and I don't know, it works for me and so I call this side stance pondering. I like this pose because it's still direct and confident but not as in your face as power stance. It's just kind of like, oh, I'm here, standing, pondering. <laughs> So I lost the footage of me talking about number eight, but number eight is sitting down sprawled. And I typically like to do this in the street or in a more industrial or urban area. And this is a great pose if you have an awesome pair of pants or heels that you wanna show off. But I like this because it looks very street style, yet casual and editorial all at the same time. Uh, but try this one out, it's super easy. Moving on to number nine. So you see all of those blogger photos where they're walking, you know, in New York City, at New York Fashion Week or Paris Fashion Week and the key to getting those amazing walking photos is not indeed constant walking it is called the step and repeat so you're basically just rocking one foot forward and one foot backwards. So you're just kind of mimicking a step forwards and backwards. You don't ever really take more than two steps, really. And this is how you get those amazing walking photos. And you can do a bunch of variations with this. You can get this from a full frontal, the side. It just doesn't really matter. But the key to getting an amazing walking photo is just the step and repeat. So you just step and repeat. Number 10, this is if you have pockets, which we love. We love as an awkward girl, I love pockets. This is a shout out to to pockets and coats or just any type of outerwear you have. So if you have a lovely pocket, put your hand in one of them. That is all that I have to really say. Because hands, these guys can get awkward in photos. And even if you're wearing a pair of denim jeans, just slide one into your butt pocket and that is also a very good pose. This is kind of like a bonus or extra pose. If you have a coat, what I like to do is sometimes I like to just put it halfway on my tricep or bicep, whichever muscle this is, and I just kind of like to slide it over and pretend as if I'm kind of putting it on or kind of not or just in midway action and I think that looks really cool and super easy and doable especially if you're rocking a coat but those are my 10 poses for Instagram now you can go and analyze all my photos on my feed now my secrets out but I hope you guys enjoyed and if you love this video give it a thumbs up and if you want me to do more give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys later bye <laughs>